Okay, so video two. Uh, this bearing right here is a new one, and I've already driven it in. And uh, this side over here has a deep wall. It's about twice the thickness, if I hold a bearing up. It's about twice the thickness of the bearing. And this side over here, uh, that space that the bearing sits in is just a tiny bit thicker than the bearing. So the reason why this is done is spacer tubes vary a little tiny bit in length and we want to make sure that the two bearings just touch and that's it. So anyway, this bearing, since it is very near the surface of the hub, we just drive it in and it bottoms out on that shoulder that's in there. But the bearing that goes in this side, it might touch that shoulder, it might not. Uh, the important thing is, is that the inner races, the two bearings, just touch the spacer tube. So anyway, I've already driven this one in, and I used an old crappy bearing on here to drive it in. Um, on this side over here, since this hole is so deep, I can't use a bearing to drive it in because otherwise this one is going to be press fit in there and I can't get it back out again. I'd have to drive both bearings out and when you do that you um, you jam the balls against the walls of the uh, races and you probably are going to damage things. So I will have to, here's the new bearing, I will have to drive this in a different way. So on my third video I will show that.